Hello, hello, hello. This is a guide to show everyone how to install the Diplo Duct. For anyone wondering how it's installed, let's get started. Alright, first one, it's an easy one installing the backing plate. What this does is it just holds the duct upright and um, back to the plate on the side. This one's easy. Just put over the two standoffs and it'll just stay there. And then the other thing we want to do is just add a locating screw. Just an M8 or uh, M3 by 8. And just add it in here. Go ahead and we'll add the hot end. This one does look, look, look a bit different to uh, the standard one, but it's uh, the same size. tighten it because we just want to square it up with the, with the build plate. So we're just going to make sure that this is parallel with this um, just so it sits in the center of the duct. So normally I just take a fan, put it right under the heat block, then just lower it onto the heat block. But you could use anything that's flat. Okay. Let's wiggle this around, make sure that's parallel. And then we can tighten that. For this next part, just got to break off the supports if you printed the supported model. So you see this little tab here, one underneath here, two down here for the ducts. And then there's actually a small one. See it right back here. Just gonna break that on out. Okay, and that's all for support removal. Okay, so we can start prepping this by installing the fans into this so long to hide the wires. So if you've got your fan, just remove those wires out of there. First, and there's a little channel right in there where the wires will go through. And obviously, just use the appropriate screws for your fan. It's a 25 mil for 20 mil fans, 15 mil for 10 mil fans. Let's go through the back. And the hot end fan. Okay, fans are installed. Um, I'll actually just also show you a little trick for removing the support marks. Just take a um, kitchen torch or a heat gun, just quickly blast it with a bit of heat and get rid of those marks. Okay, 
Now one thing I'll mention about this duct, if you're gonna route the heater wires and thermistor through the duct, there's a little cutout right here. It's hard to see it. But that's where these are gonna run up from. I suppose alternatively you're gonna run you're gonna run it around. Um, but it just won't look as clean. Time to put the duct on. So just take a um, 12 mil M3, oh, M3 by 12, and just put it through the back here for now. So where the cables are going to go is between that bolt and this little standoff on the back plate here. Okay, and here comes the tricky part: putting this in. You got your fan wires. Just hold them there. These wires are going to go through there, just hook it on from the right. And then you just need to make sure that it makes full contact, or make sure you don't see a gap anywhere around the plate. And just move these wires a bit, make sure they're not getting pinched. Maybe even push the screw through from the back. Then we can go ahead and tighten the screw from the back there. Good time to install the BL Touch. If you have one, and we can remove the screw, the guiding screw that we put in before. piece just slide in here If you want, you can flange this out with like a Phillips head screwdriver, just to get in there, rotate it so the hole gets a bit bigger. And then you can just put your extruder in from the back. This is a bit tricky. 
be. Actually, probably better to do this when the fans before you even put this on. We can run all the cables through that. Part of the puzzle. This burner cover. This goes on there. Clicks on. Chain on there. Turn your cables through. Add all the end links. And you're done.